Okay guys, I got a question for you all. Did you all see Squid Game Season 1? Or even better, are you going to watch Season 2? I can't wait to see it, and in the meantime I have a challenge for you all. Try to recreate this cool title animation with me, or lose the game. By the way, if you don't want to recreate this and just download it, go to our Patreon channel and find this and many more projects of ours. And while doing that, you can also support us to keep on creating these videos. And hey, you get a bunch of extras with it. Link in the description below. Let's jump into After Effects. Inside the project panel, I will create a new composition by hitting this button right here. In the new pop-up window, I will choose my composition settings, which are completely personal and depend on every project. In my freshly made composition, I'm going to add a new solid layer. I can easily do that by right clicking in the timeline, choose new and then solid layer. Of course I'm naming it background and giving it a pink color. But again you can choose whatever color you want. Next I want some texture on the background. For this I'm duplicating the solid layer and renaming it to fractal noise. And then I will add the fractal noise effect to it. Didn't see that one coming did you? For the settings I lowered both the contrast and brightness. I increased the complexity and played around with the sub setting until I have something like this. After this I'm going to change the blending mode of the fractal layer to screen and maybe lower the opacity a little bit. Then I'm selecting both layers and pre-composing them. You can do this by right clicking on them and looking for the pre-compose option or you can use the shortcut Control shift c In the new pop-up window rename it to background and hit ok. This action will bundle the two layers into a new one which will come in handy later on. My next step will be the text animation. This is in fact quite easy but very time consuming. With the text tool I click in my composition panel then I type whatever I want. Important here is that if you have two words, separate the layers. So create two text layers, one for every word. Of course, choose a font that suits the situation. I'm going to use the font Stereo Gothic. No, I don't really want a text layer. I want shapes or more specific lines because I need a very specific effect for this title animation and it only works with lines. So let's first create a shape from my text by right clicking on it, navigating to create and then choose create shapes from text. And this will make a separate shape of every letter. And now for the tedious part. With the normal select tool I'm going to select the letter. Then I'm hovering over the line of the shape and right clicking on it. I go to mask and shape pad and in the sub menu I disable closed. This will make the shape open again and now I can start removing points, thinking hard on which to keep and which I don't need anymore without destroying the general letter shape. And when done, I'm left with a line in the shape of the former letter. I can give it a stroke and maybe fine tune it. Now because After Effects didn't remove the original text, I can use it as a guideline. And well, now I need to do this for every layer of my words, meaning it's going to take ages. So let's speed this part up, otherwise there will be no people watching after this. So back at normal speeds we can see our words written with a single line. Now I also made a couple of lines go off screen, just as the squid game example. And now it's time for the effect that drives this entire animation, the trim pad effect. If I select my shape layer and open up the properties for it, I can find this add drop down menu. And in that drop down I can find trim pad. Let's add it. And now it's just a simple matter of animating the start property from from 100 to 0 and boom we've got our animation. Again like with the background I'm gonna add some texture to the text. For this I can copy the fractal noise layer from my background composition and paste it above my text layer. This fractal noise layer I can then use as a track mat for my text. With the track mat pick whip tool of both my text layer I will link it to the fractal noise. However nothing changed. That's because I need to switch the track mat settings from alpha mat to luma mat giving my text the texture I want. The next step is again pre-compositing the text layers together with the fractal noise layer, leaving us with a pink background and an animated text layer. Now before I'm gonna finish up this effect with some 3D magic, I'm also creating three black shapes, a circle, a square and a triangle. In the beginning of my timeline I'm gonna place them next to each other, but if I go further in time, when my text is fully visible, I'll also reposition and rescale the shapes. That way they form a perfectly whole with my text. Again I will texture my shapes with a fractal noise layer like I did with the background and text. I'm also pre-comping the shape and texture. And now for the 3D magic, first I'm making my three pre-comps a 3D layer by hitting the button right here. Then I will create a simple camera. I can then do this by also right clicking in the timeline. Then in the new camera pop-up window I choose my camera settings, which aren't really important. So we can leave them at the default settings. Next I'm gonna animate the position of the camera. In the beginning I want it really close to my subjects, so it focuses on the three shapes. Then over time, when the text starts revealing itself, I move the camera backward to its 
its original spot, creating a zoom out effect. Now I first tried to also add a small rotation movement to the camera. I couldn't get it right, so I used a null object to help me. This null is also a 3D layer and I linked my shape and text layer to it. Then the only thing I did was animate the rotation for the null object and voila, we can now all work for Netflix. Oh, and if you want to learn some more tips and tricks about how to learn more about shapes, click the video right here on my left. Thank you guys so much for watching.